Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna to show you how to do a pot in pot recipe. We're gonna show you how to make lasagna. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Camille. And every Monday we share an instant pot recipe with you guys. Okay, so we're first going to cook sausage and onions and mushrooms, mushrooms all together in the instant pot. So we're gonna first push the saute button and kind of let that heat up for a little okay, bit before cool. we throw everything in. So I'm gonna start mixing the cheeses. This is a big tub of ricotta cheese. Yes. Going full send <laughs> with all of that. And then I'm gonna add in about 16 ounces of cottage cheese. Nice. You can go full fat, you can do low fat, just, I mean, whatever you want. Ricotta comes in whole milk or skim milk. If you want it super creamy, go whole. If you want to lighten it up a little bit, go skim. They both taste good. I know. They I do. like both of them. They do. Oh, and then I'm gonna also add two eggs to this. Okay. All right, so this is all heated up, ready to go. Okay. So I put in my cool. sausage first. I don't have to add oil because of, you know, the sausage yeah. is not gonna stick. So I have my lovely chopped stir. Chopped stir. Favorite, I love favorite thing stir. ever. I'm just gonna cook my meat. A lot of times too, to this cheese mixture, I'll add in like some garlic powder or Italian seasoning, just to kind of give, give this it. cheesy layer um, a little boost of flavor, mm. but it's fine without it too. Nice. Okay, so you're mixing all the cheeses. Mm -hmm. I'm mixing the sausage. Would you pass me the yep. onions? So we chopped an onion. Stick that in there. So a whole onion? Yep. Nice. And then there's a mushroom. Okay, feel like it's done. Good. Yeah, yep. this is pretty good. I'm gonna just add my mushrooms for just like a minute or so. Ooh, mix it in there. Whoops, it's flying. Now, if you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to add mushrooms to this, but I love mushrooms. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Okay. Looking good and smelling good. Okay. Yeah, huh? We ready? Let's, yep. Let's layer it so up. So layer it up. So, okay. So we're gonna start in the pot with some sauce on the bottom. Nice. I'm just gonna dump a little bit in there. Spread it around. around. Yep. Just getting it all the way to the edges. You can use any kind of sauce that you have, whatever your favorite is. Okay. And then we got to use some noodles, right? And they have to be oven ready. They have to be oven ready for this recipe. You're right. Yep. Okay, so this is a circle pot, obviously. <laughs> yeah. You're just gonna have to make it fit. Just kind of break your noodles so that they fit, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's it's not gonna be pretty, but no one will see that, you know, oh, there's a little bit of a noodle missing there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just as long so, as you get yeah, and these little pieces of it covered. are perfect because they just cover the parts that need to be covered. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. All okay. right. We have noodles down. Noodles down. Cheese next. Okay. So how many layers are we gonna be doing? So we're gonna do as many layers as we can. We'll probably, we'll, we'll see what we can We'll fit. see how many we're we get in there. As full as we can, yep. that's for sure. I love cheese, so I'm going heavy Me on too. it. And it's a little bit different, like nine by 13, you have a very flat lasagna. This is going to be a tall lasagna. I love it. Which is perfect. Okay, so we got cheese all the way to the edges. Good, add some meat now. Meat, onion, and mushrooms. Oh man, even pulling up, I still am all over the place. <laughs> all right, what do you think of that? We're okay? Yep, looks good. Okay. You could do a little bit more even if you want. Okay. There, now we're talking. I like the meat. I like it meaty. Me too. Okay, um, cheese, do we do like mozzarella and Parmesan? Yeah, let's throw that on. Okay. Because let's be honest, lasagna has to be cheesy. Oops. Everyone Threw likes Through that bag. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so we just did some mozzarella and Parmesan, and then we start again. Okay. So, go with the sauce. And it's not gonna be pretty as you're spreading it around, but that's okay. No well, lasagna is, yeah, really. Yeah, it all comes together. Exactly. So try and get it to the edges. Got that. And we'll go right. with the noodles. And I'll grab one too. Yep. Chop it up. You do the big one in the middle. Okay, oh, I messed I'll it. I'll hit the sides. Mm. 
And if only you could just come to my house all the time and we can cook right? together. Right, this we is way faster. Cruise through. No, <laughs> lasagnas to me are really labor intensive, but I love that you can cook it all, all in there, like that. saute it, and mm -hmm. then you can layer it in this other pot. Yep. It's genius. I think this is the hardest part for me, is putting the cheese on after you put the noodles on. Right, because it just, those noodles move. Yes. I know, but okay. it's not bad. Okay. Ready? Ready yep. for the meat. Go more meat, and then I'll add more cheese. Awesome. Can you go all the way to the top? Like, yes, this one you can. Uh-huh. Some, I'm sure it kind of overflows. Yes, Yeah. I mean, it really depends on what you have, just because the okay. noodles are not going to expand that much. Okay. Um, that everything will kind of cook and then shrink a little bit. So we're yeah, go oh that's true. All I didn't way, think about all that. All the way to the top here. Okay. Cool. All right, more cheese, and, and then we'll go again. I think we'll just one more layer here, right? Yeah, I yeah. think just one more. Make sure we get plenty of sauce. Maybe a little bit more. It's a hefty little lasagna. Yes, it is. It like, is like you said, solid. it is. It's gonna be really tall. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you don't have to. Your normal size of lasagna is like a normal square, but this one you want smaller because there's yeah. so many layers that you're gonna go digging into. So. Totally. Okay, so we're just gonna finish out all the sauce. So I'm gonna pull that up a little. Oh yeah. So it doesn't get covered. Yeah. You can rest it on top when it's right. done. And then we're gonna finish off with just a hefty layer of cheese. Nice. Because a cheesy lasagna I like it. is cheesy. where it's at. Exactly. Okay, so while you're putting cheese, I'm gonna rinse this out real quick. Okay. So then we're gonna cook it right inside of this pot that's already dirty. So you don't have to clean right? it, we're just rinsing it out. We need to put something on it so it can keep as much water out as we possibly can. So we're mm -hmm. gonna do it really tight with some foil. Cool. Now, the handle is still in there, but that's okay. Okay. We'll, when it's done, we'll pull the foil off and then pull the handle out. Okay, cool. Because getting in is a lot easier than getting it out. Yeah. Okay, so then on the bottom of the pot, we're just gonna add like a cup of water just so it can pressurize. We're just gonna stick our pot right down inside. So you don't even need the trivet or anything. Mm -mm. Just put it right in right the water. In. Oopa. And it fits pretty tight in there. Yes. But like still enough room you can Slide it around. Yeah, you can, it can slide around definitely. Cool. And you can have all the water will come up on the sides and still cook it. So, all right. So crazy. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So close the lid. Make sure that your little knob is turned to ceiling, not venting. <laughs> I've fine. done that. It's yep. fine. Yep. We all have. We all have. All right. Then we're gonna push the manual or the pressure cook button, whatever instant pot you have, and we're gonna go up to what'd you say? 24. 24. 24 minutes. 24. Okay. Then once you set the pot, you're gonna wait just a few seconds for it to say on. There we go. And then that means you did it right. So awesome, walk, walk away. away. <laughs> All right guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it's done. It's so done. it's when it's done cooking, you'll see that little L and then uh -huh. it will start counting up. up. So we're at two minutes. Now, lots of people are really funny about, you know, quick release or natural release. We're just gonna do quick release because that's just, that's all we have time that's for That's what I do. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. Okay. All steams out. Good to go. Let's open it open up. Open it up. Let's see what this looks like. No. Oh, you see the foil first. Okay, so I, I like to take a glove and we'll just pull the foil off. Actually, I gotta use my finger a little bit to just pull it. Nice. Nice. Now, you gotta realize it is cooked with water, so it's not the same texture as your Kay. oven. But with this pot and pot, you can stick it right inside your oven and broil it for a few minutes to brown up that cheese. Okay, you gotta get the little handle out. There we go. We're just gonna pull it right out. Cool. Oh, it is heavy. Oh my goodness. Now, this is covered with some food, so we're gonna put it like in, you can put it on a cookie sheet or a pan or something like that but just so you don't want the bun of your oven all gross. Yeah. So. All right, you want to stick that yes. in? So we're just going in the broiler just to kind of brown up the top. Yep. Will you open it for me? Yeah. 
All right, so here it is, completely Ooh. done. Still a little bit liquidy. I would let it set up for at least a few minutes before you serve it, um, but yeah. And that's all we have for you today. So yeah. we will see you guys next, next week. week. Bye.